In this video will instruct you on setup and listening check procedures for a portable audiometer. Inside the bag, you will find headphones and a power cord. To get started, let's look at the ports on the back of the unit. On the back of the unit, we find a power port, switch, and a fuse. Next, there is a port for patient response or clicker if you have one, ports for bone conduction, insert phones, and AC, air conduction or headphones. Ensure that the plug is secured tightly in the power port as it can come out during use. Also make sure that the power switch is on. Again across the bottom we see plugs for insert or air conduction headphones. For this video we are using headphones and they are plugged in blue left, red right. Now let's orient you to the screens. This screen displays intensity of your tone in dBHL, frequency in hertz, and masking. On the left side of the unit we have the button for stimulus tone presentation. Frequency change in Hertz plus for increase minus for decrease. Also control for left or right ear, bone conduction or air conduction, and headphones or insert phones. Also there is a button for continuous stimulus on. FM tone, or pulse tone. The stimulus button on the right side is for masking. Pushing the button turns it on and pushing it again turns it off. But with the stimulus button on the left you must press and hold and then release. On the left side of the audiometer there is an attenuator dial. Turning this dial will increase the intensity by 5 decibels and turning the other direction will decrease. This is the same for the dial on the right side, which is used for masking. After you set up the audiometer, you need to check the headphones. Open the headphone cushions and make sure that they are clean and that there are no cracks or defects. As well, check the spring of the headphones. Make sure that they are not too loose. Run your hand down the cord and check for any frays or problems with the cord. As well, do this with the power cord. Check the power cord for any frays or loose ends to make sure that they're both functioning properly. The final step in preparing the audiometer for use is to place the headphones on yourself with the left, blue, right, red. And then test the audiometer. First test your frequency. Set the dBHL for something that's comfortable for you and present. Test to make sure that if it says left, that it's presenting in the left. Test the right. Change the frequency. And test both left and right. Next, check to make sure that the attenuator dial is increasing and decreasing the, the dBHL properly. Turn on the stimulus and increase the dial and decrease the dial. If the sound goes up and down as you increase and decrease, the attenuator is working properly. Also as you're testing the audiometer, check the cord of the earphones. Holding the stimulus down, move the cord Listen for static, hum, or any breaks in the sound. Also listen for crosstalk. You don't want to hear sound in the left side when you're presenting on the right side and vice versa. Following these steps will get you set to use the audiometer and make sure that it is functioning properly.